Hello everyone, in today's video we'll be going over how to make a power-up block like the one in Mario Kart. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we need to do is make our block. So I'm going to insert a block into our workspace, and we need to make it so it looks like the one from Mario Kart. Um, so I'm just going to speed up this part so that you guys can get the properties if you are copying me. So let's do it. Don't worry guys, it doesn't look too great here, but we're going to be using some special effects to make it look right, so we can get on into that. I just changed uh, the material to glass, set some reflectance transparency, and I also need to change the name to power up, and I also changed the size to 3x3x3. Three by three by three. The next thing we can do to make this look better is add a highlight to it. Alright, so here's our highlight. I'm going to make it so you cannot see the fill, so fill transparency 1. Let's set uh, death mode to occluded, and I'm also going to set the outline color to this turquoise color. And I'm going to set the outline transparency to 0 0.25, and that uh, gives it a little bit more pizzazz. In Mario Kart, there's also a question mark on the block. So that is the next thing we're going to be making. So we're going to create an attachment in the power up and insert a billboard GUI. I'm then going to insert a text label into the billboard GUI. Now change the properties and everything like that uh, the same way I do it. All right, guys, we now added a little question mark in the middle there uh, for the power up, you know, type thing. Now, the last thing we're going to do is make it so it has a rainbow color. So I need to insert two scripts. So we need a local script in here. So a local script. And there's also I use a module that is just called rainbow tween. I'll show you guys the code for that. So for you guys, you want to insert a module script called rainbow tween and you want to insert it in the text label or sorry in the power up you want to put these scripts in the power up and here is the code for the rainbow tween um there's really no loops i mean it is looping but um it's really simple it uses tweens so here's the full thing of code you guys can copy that down make sure it's in a module script and this is the uh, module I use to make rainbow tw uh, tweens and stuff like that. Okay, so back in our local scripts, we need to get the rainbow tween. And if I just say rainbow tween, it'll get it for me. But what you guys want to say is uh, game, or when you get the rainbow tween, uh, you get it uh, in the require, and then you say script dot parent dot rainbow tween, and you would then have required it, and that should. The only thing you guys need to do for that. All right, guys. Well, it wasn't really working for me before, and I didn't really know why. Um, but for some reason, it works when you go to insert a new script, um, a server script, and you change the run context to client. So that is how you make it work. Um, put the same code in, and when you go into your game, you will see we have a nice rainbow effect, and it looks all nice. It looks like a very cool power up. So there is our visuals and it looks really good now. And then the last thing we need to do to set up guys is in the power up scroll down to attributes and make a new attribute, call it gain and make it a string. Now you, when you save it, you now have the gain. This uh, means this will have down here what we will gain from this power up. And I'm gonna do like jump height, walk speed, and if your character grows in size like a random amount. Now you need to insert a server script in the power uh, in pow the power up part, and I just call it pickup. And so uh, we can begin with we're going to get the brick a debounce and start coding when we touch the power up.
Okay, so what I've done so far is make it so we get our power up, we get a debounce so we can only touch it every few seconds and it'll register. Here I'm seeing if it is a player um, that actually touched the power up, um, so you know not just a random part touched it. And also put an end right here if you guys didn't uh, already. The next thing we can do is then uh, check for a debounce and also checking for the power up that is under the actual power up. So the gain, what we gain from the power up. So we actually need to give this power up what we want it to basically do when we touch it. So going back to our attribute, I am going to set the gain to walk speed. So when we touch this power up, it'll give us the powers of more walk speed. All right, and I also forgot to do this, but anchor the power up uh, so it stays in place and also set can collide to false so there's no issue with touching it. So we have our debounce, we are getting our gain attribute, and the first um, power up is walk speed. So what we can um, do here is make it so that the character runs faster. You can control this value if you want uh, your character to run faster or slower, but I just made it so uh, it's multiplied by two. And then now we can start programming our other two uh, abilities. Now using this size is a little bit tricky and you have to do some stuff, but I'm just going to make it so that your character grows and then will shrink back down. Um, so it's a little bit tricky, we have to set some things, but it'll be all good. So it's been a while since I last checked up on you guys and I basically coded the rest of it. Um, but I didn't want to take too long actually coding it, um, but as you guys follow this, I want to explain it. now. One of the things I did was add a humanoid sizes table and also add a duration up here. Uh, that five was just for testing, but this is the amount of duration your power up's gonna last. So in our walk speed here, I'm basically making so it waits the dur duration and also after it, it divides it by half again so that it's normal. Same thing for jump height, multiplying it, waiting, and then dividing it by half. Now the, the size, was getting a little bit more complicated, okay? So we're using the table to store the original sizes of our humanoid uh, head scale and all those scales. We are then multiplying every single one of those by two so that we grow bigger. And then we are waiting our duration and then we are going through everything and just setting it back to how it was before we actually change the size. We can actually test all of these now. So in here, I'm gonna set the gain to walk speed and we can t test every single one of these. So we're gonna pick this up and we run around fast. After a few seconds, we are then we cannot run faster. Set this to jump pipe. Make sure you guys are spelling this all correctly. Go into your game, touch this, and we can now jump higher than we were before five seconds later we can now jump regular like a regular character finally set this to size for the character uh size movement and touch this and we grow bigger in size five seconds later we are back to our original size last thing we need to do is actually destroy the power up when we collect it so uh, we are just going to, right up here, just say power up, destroy, and we get rid of it uh, when we touch it. So go over here, we got it, destroys, we collected it a few seconds later, and everything works. And yeah, guys, that was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.